What's up, guys? Hey, everybody. Hope all is Welcome well. Welcome back. Yeah. Um, did you disable? There we go. Okay. Um, <laughs> hope you all enjoyed your break. We're ready to get back to it. Um, we'll just kind of keep with this. Obviously, this is informal. Um, we'll just talk about some stuff to get you going. Um, but yeah, yeah if you have any questions. As always, this is just us paying it forward, not DES, not SGU admissions, whatever. Just we just want to help. No affiliation. All right. Yep. So where do we start? So um, let's see. Y'all are going to start off with uh, ER, endocrine and reproductive reproductive uh, systems. So I think endocrine was fairly straightforward. Everything runs on pretty much on that feedback system with the hormones. You've seen a lot of it before, um, so that won't be too bad. Uh, I think first aid is a great resource for endocrine. They have all those pathways, the thyroid pathway, um, you know, everything from the pituitary that y'all uh, probably vaguely remember from term one. Um, so that'll be good. And then reproductive is a little bit different. It was it was a different beast. Um, I think some of the Don't underestimate it. Yeah, some of the histology for reproductive was a little tricky with the different um, phases of the, you know, the ovarian cycle and stuff like that. So um, you'll definitely need to keep an eye on that. Lindsay, you got any advice? Um, I so ER is definitely the easiest module of term two, but don't underestimate it because it is very like the test questions one or two words can change what they want in an answer choice so be very cognizant of that when you're answering the test questions because you know inhibition versus stimulation and the, you know there are sometimes these long pathways of things to get to the end result and you need to know that pathway so you know what is happening and you know feedback mechanisms and everything and then a couple of the charts in uh, the repro section, you need to know them. You got to know them. And like Brady said, some of it is a little confusing. And there was a concept in um, with the ovaries his, histologically. And in small group, I spent like two or three minutes explaining what I thought it was. And I was talking completely out of my ass because like I thought I was talking about one thing and it was the other. And I... And I didn't realize it until I had, was done explaining it because it was it was so similar. And, and I texted my group after, I was like, oh my God, I feel like an idiot. And they're like, well, you sounded really confident in yourself. So there are a few things like that that you really need to distinguish between each other um, because it can trip you up. But this is where you can get a lot of points, a lot of... Um, exam points because dm is a very long module it's like a marathon and then nb it's doable it is very doable but it you know neuro is a beast it it's just a beast and that's how it is and so um don't underestimate er but it it is the easiest of all of the modules in term two and see if you can get um a, a lot of points there right so Absolutely agree. Um, not that it is easy, but um, DM is yeah. going to be a little bit longer. I believe it's a four week module instead of three. Um, it's like and five. No, it's like maybe, five. maybe so. Um, yeah, so it is longer. Um, Y'all have all learned about the Krebs cycle and all that stuff, but um, you will literally get a new pathway every day um, going through ketosis, but, you know, all the different um, um, anaerobic pathways and we'll stuff like that. We'll let you know the high yield stuff. Yeah. Don't, so let, yeah. so, um, um, yeah, so we, we've all talked, Lindsay's a whiteboarder. I'm not. Um, but when we, we'll talk about this more when DM comes around, but, um, I think that you have to understand when they, you know, don't be too daunted with these pathways because they will test you on things like the rate limiting enzymes, things like diet, you know, disease oriented enzymes in those pathways. Reason being, those are drug targets, right? Those are important. So they're not going to just ask you to draw out the, you know, the pathway, or they're not going to ask you um, some insignificant enzyme. Uh, so you, you know, when you get to that point, um, yes, great. If you can draw that, draw all these out, more power to you. But it's going to be more important 
Um, and if you look at my consolidated notes that I post, it's all about the important enzymes. So um, don't get, we don't want to get too ahead of, too ahead of ourselves because y'all got to worry, worry about ER first, but people do worry when you get to digestion and metabolism about, um, you know, all those crazy pathways. Again, first aid is a good resource for that. Uh, when y'all get there, um, you could kind of figure out what's important and what's not. And just like term one, you, you know, by all means, the high yield stuff is, is all driven around uh, clinical correlates, right? Um, we're all here to be doctors. So we need to be able to identify things like, uh, you know, disease oriented symptoms and pathologies and stuff like that. So yeah, that's DM. And then y'all will take uh, three exams um, in neuro, right? So the first uh, two are very neuro based and the third is very uh, more uh, psychiatry based. Um, so, um, Lindsay, do you have any thoughts on that? Um, you have probably heard people say it is, it, it's a beast. It's hard. It's impossible. Yes, it is hard. It's very interesting. Don't you, you need, if, if you don't understand it, if you're having issues, please reach out, please go find a tutor, please. Um, because it is a lot of information and unlike the other systems neuro is um neuro is very unique in that there are just so many things that can go wrong and it's not always specific so in msk if you did this nerve or this muscle you could very easily predict this and in cpr and all of these things it it's kind of almost finite but with the nervous system if you have a lesion or something at any point you need to be able to understand what the resulting issue is going to be based off of the location of the lesion so you know if you have something here like where is the the deficit going to be is it going to be unilateral is it going to be bilateral and then is it touch is it sensation is it temperature like all of these things so that in itself makes it a little more daunting because there's so much more that and it, it's not just straight memorization of clinical presentation it's do you really understand these tracks do you really understand what's going on and that's what scares a lot of people and that's what makes it kind of intimidating um it is doable don't don't let people get you down if they start saying neuro is impossible or anything it's not it's not it's doable um but just be very cognizant that it neuro is a beast you know it's it's not that it's at sgu like neuro is a beast just plain and simple so um just understand that if you're a neuro person you're gonna have fun and it'll be fantastic if you're not a neuro person just prepare yourself and um, reach out if you need help. But the psych stuff, do not underestimate it. It's going to feel very simple when it's taught, but do not underestimate the psych. A lot of people get very complacent and they focus a lot on the neuro aspect. Don't do that. Um, of course, the neuro is going to be a little more intensive, but do not underestimate the psych, the psych stuff. Um, because a lot of things are very close to one another and you have to be able to differentiate. So um, it's fun, it's interesting, but you need to just be cognizant of those things. I think in simple terms for neuro, what's difficult is that um, you will learn different ideas in different lectures, but the questions will incorporate you, you'll need to incorporate three or four different lectures to be able to mm -hmm. answer the question, right? So um, doing practice questions, uh, even outside resource questions are going to be important for that. Again, we're, this we're a couple of months down the road and we'll get there. We'll talk about it when we get there. But I think the whole goal would be to try to do as well as possible, as soon as possible. Yeah. Um, that way you have a buffer zone. Um, but yeah, so um, we'll get there when we get there. Now, I know a lot of people have questions about BSC how to prep for that, when to start prepping for that. Um, for those of you that are gonna be teaching uh, AEP and PLG, that was great. Lindsay and I did it, Keyshore, Cassidy, we all did it um, in term two. It forced us to, to uh, keep up with the material as we went, okay? So um, that was really beneficial for us. For those that are not, um, I've heard from a lot of people that said that watching um, our old reviews and doing extra questions was more than enough. 
um, people in my term, me and Lindsay's term, and then um, Keisha and Cassidy's term, they said they just went back and watched our overviews and, uh, you know, maybe go back through the IMCQs, the ESOL quizzes from term one. Um, that should be sufficient. Uh, ideally, you don't wait till the last minute, but the problem is like neuro one and two are, are pretty dense. So like neuro three, again, don't sleep on it, but it's a little bit lighter because it's psych. So you do have time to study for it. Um, but you need to give yourself probably about, I mean, five or six weeks minimum uh, just to start going back through stuff. And uh, you're going to want to, you know, not just go back and review the term one stuff, but go back and look at the ER and the DM stuff too. Like you'll have just done neuro, so you'll be okay. Um, but you need to go back through that too. So my advice would just, to be to take a look at our stuff and um, and that would be a good head start. Plus, plus going back through your questions. The BSE isn't going to get into as much detail though. It's going to be very surface level. Do you know it or not? So don't stress on re-memorizing re every little detail from everything um, because it is going to be a little more of an overview. So don't stress about that. Like Brady said, six-ish weeks um, should be good. Uh, focus on the material in front of you. If you want to do some review throughout the term, you can. I did, well, I was AP and PLG, so I technically did, but I didn't do any dedicated BSE studying during ER, during DM, um, just because I, I needed to focus on what was in front of me. So I would recommend the same, um, just so that you aren't you aren't missing stuff because DM is very, very dense. It is very long. By the end of it, I was forgetting what we had done like in week one of DM. And so it was stressing me out. And I, I think I had like four different like panic attacks it, leading up to the exam because I was going through information and I couldn't remember learning it. And so just focus on what's in front of you. Um, but yeah, the but and then small groups are going to be very similar to how you did it in term one um so kind of keep up the same uh format you did with that the number is going to be the same too so they're not really going to increase heavily in number you're still going to have one to two per week um let me let me just add about the BSC. Here's the thing: there's there's never there's not going to be a good time for you to start studying for it. There's not going to be like this like this is a perfect window to start. Yeah. So like, um, um, obviously the sooner the better. But if you give yourself five or six weeks at the end, you'll be okay. The, you just don't want to be borderline at that point and have to really focus on that NB three yeah. exam while you're worried about the BSC. That would be super stressful. So. Um, you, you don't want to uh, have to do that. So if you can intermix it a little bit, uh, personally, uh, our, um, our, and Keisha and Cassidy can speak on this too. Um, our uh, BSE was very term too heavy, very neuro heavy, which is beneficial because uh, y'all have just done that. So um, Keisha, do you remember exactly how did, how did y'all fall? So we were kind of, um, pleasantly surprised because it was retained through what you guys had previously mentioned where it was going to be more specific to term two heavy and then we did have um, I think like the third book is when we got a little crazy with um, some of the CPR concepts which I just could not for the life of me remember all of the um, formulas associated with uh, the pulmonary components but um, like like they're saying, it's going to be more term two focus from what I think the general trend has been. Obviously, that being said, they could always switch it up. Um, make sure you guys do a nice even pass through all of the material. You don't have to go and become like module level experts at that material again. They don't expect you to know all of FTM, CPR and MSK like front to back, but they do ask you to know like some of the core concepts that were heavily tested. So um, when I was going through it, some of the, um, I think brachial plexus even came up once. So nothing too crazy. They just wanted to know like at that point, if you knew just the critical um, high yield concepts. Yeah, difficulty wise, I would say like you could compare it to those cumulative questions that would pop up. You know, I mean, obviously some questions were harder, but like, you know, they, those don't dive 
Ooh, it started storming. There it is. Sorry. Oh <laughs> um, yeah. Um, it it if y'all are in Grenada, it it storms in like two minute intervals, like torrential downpour for like two minutes, and then it's fine. Um, yeah. So uh, some questions will be harder, but the cumulative stuff is a good representation. So you weren't you didn't have to dive too deep into the material. Kind of superficial, but as Keisha mentioned, you want to get a good pass through everything. Um, you know, beforehand, but at least give yourself five or six weeks uh, to start looking at it. But ideally, um, the sooner the better. But you obviously have to focus on the, the material that's right in front of you. So, um, yeah. Um, I mean, that's about it. I mean, obviously, we're going to be doing reviews for you guys throughout the term. So when we talk about actual, you know, medicine and stuff, uh, we'll dive into that. We kind of just wanted to uh, get y'all started on what to expect. Um, let's see, we have questions. Um, yeah, of course, first day, definitely studying for BSc is a great, uh, great resource. You know, y'all are, y'all have gotten to a point now where y'all could really get into first aid and kind of appreciate it for what it is. Uh, no, no sheer ex, you know, explanations, but, um, you know, just down and dirty facts. So, um, yeah, uh, definitely do that. Oh, um, first aid was really helpful with the ER diseases, with the endocrine diseases, because I spent so much time whiteboarding those out because they are so similar to one another, so similar to one another, um, based off of if it's primary or secondary, primary being at the level of the organ, secondary being um, somewhere else and it's causing the same thing. So I would highly, highly, highly suggest using first aid for that because it broke it down in such a way that it really separated it out. And I was able to distinguish A from B from C. So I would highly recommend that. Yeah, like it, that's a great point. Some of the, these patients are going to present very similarly, you know, re regarding primary versus secondary, even tertiary uh, types of diseases. And, uh, a lot of times the only way you can tell the difference is the lab values. So, um, you know, y'all know now look, looking for exceptions, looking for things that uh, can differentiate uh, certain situations is uh, uh, going to be super important. So first day, we'll definitely outline that for you guys. Um, but that's about it. I mean, we really just wanted to kind of give y'all an intro of what to expect for the term, what to go through. Obviously, as always, y'all can um, reach out to us if y'all need anything. But if anybody has any questions, just feel free to speak up. Yeah. And those that are on campus now, it's going to be a little different and exciting. So if you have any questions in that lane, like don't hesitate, um, we're here for you. But if you guys do have questions, um, if you wanna say it out loud, you can raise your hand and we'll call on you or you can post it in the chat that way. So just one question uh, that had come up in the chat, for those who are looking for the links for Brady and Lindsay's reviews from the past, make sure you guys go to the group description and save those and bookmark those so that when um, BSCE time, I guess, focus comes around, you can then go ahead and review those videos. I didn't review every single video under the sun that they've, I mean, because remember, you guys have a limited time, but the ones that you guys are a little confused on or like modules that you were kind of weak on based off of your exam breakdowns from the past, make sure you go through those down, download the IMC cues from those terms and modules and uh, do those along with watching those um, previously recorded sessions because those were my go-to when I was going through the prep process as well as reviewing um, first aid. And as always, extra questions, right? Going back through the IMC cues is a good way of studying. Um, so now if y'all look on the scrubs page, y'all are in the term two playlist. So keep the term play term one playlist so y'all could go back for BSC, but all your new videos will be in the term two playlist. Um, question: If we're going to be holding reviews in person for we on campus, hope. we really want to. Um, there's a lot of red tape to go through because we we technically we don't do this through school anymore. We're all doing this on our own, so it's really a pain. Um, so worst case, we'll do this online for everybody, but. Yeah. Um, we, we try, we're really trying. Um, we wanted to do this, uh, you know, in person, not only so you could meet us, but more importantly, you can meet some other uh, people in your class, some people maybe you could study with, because we all know the best way to learn this material is talking about it. So um, yeah, that was our plan, but unfortunately that kind of fell through. Yeah. So we'll do our best though. We'll work yeah. on it. 
Lindsay um, wanted to right. have it at a bar. And I was like, I can't, Lindsay. That's not appropriate. Okay. <laughs> no, not with the intention of actually drinking, but because okay. it would have been easy. It would have been fun. But yeah, it, we it, was, a location, got uh -huh. it was a location with a projector. That was uh -huh. my. <laughs> anyway. All right. Outside resources. Um, That's Lindsay's area. Uh, okay. So I would stick with osmosis bnb physio luxurio all of those things um honestly don't invest I, okay remember this is my personal opinion so take it with a grain of salt leave it or take it or leave it um sketchy pathoma amboss all of those things i would wait until year two the reason being that they are out of your scope right now of what you have learned um sketchy may be a little bit helpful but honestly it's 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 kind of an expensive resource and you'll use it a lot in term three four five so i would wait to invest in that maybe um i personally love osmosis bnb &B is a fan favorite ninja nerds is still really good ninja nerds really helped me in er and dm so if you if you're a ninja nerd person he really helped during that and nb he has a lot of he's been adding a lot of videos recently um he's has a lot of good content on there um but yeah don't the question banks are really good for a year or two again free trials are always a really good way to see if you like it um and then recommend using outside practice question resources are you is that referring to like amboss and new world and those things um i'm assuming but no not for year one um wait for those when you get to year five you get UWorld world and us emily rx again a lot of those question bank resources that you pay for are out of your scope right now because year one is very foundational it's very um normal physiology based and so it you know these subscriptions are kind of a lot of money so save your money for now again do what you want i'm not telling you don't do it but just giving you my experience and my personal opinion um, so that you can make whatever decision is best for you. Um, but I love osmosis. I really love osmosis. It's very short animated videos that break a concept down very quickly. Um, but yeah. And uh, we have extra questions on our drives too. Old uh, IEA questions are on there. Um, SNL, those are on there. So those are always good to look at. Anything else? I got any other questions? I, guess I know this is kind of short and sweet, but you guys are kind of veterans at this point. You've kind of, you've been through a term, you know, how SGU works and anything and everything we can. And as always, many, if y'all have how any. How many are on uh, the island? <laughs> are people on the island? I know a couple of you guys are. Some people are, yeah. Yay. If you see us out and about, feel free to come say hi. Of course. We still have people in oh, quarantine. Oh, still in quarantine. <laughs> You'll be out soon and it'll be fun. We might be at Container Park tonight. Don't come say hi. <laughs> Brady is emotionally thinking if he can handle another night out before an 8 a.m. class. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Don't do as I say, not as I do. Um, yeah. Anyway, all right, so if y'all have any other issues, oh, how do I get access to the recordings on YouTube? Okay, so yeah, if you click the playlist link on uh, the Scrubs page, it'll bring you to the term two playlist. It should work, yeah. Um, you have to click it from, oh, the, from, the, uh, from the Scrubs page. Sorry. Yeah, you're fine. Make sure you guys get to know each other because the April class is coming in and incorporating into the Jan class. So right. you yeah. all are one big happy family now. So make sure you guys get to know each other, hang out. Collab. Yeah, look, the best way to know, see if you know the material is to talk about it. So yeah. um, if you're online, get in groups. If you're here, yeah. meet people and just talk about it. Just discuss the stuff and I promise you'll feel better about the material. Yeah. All right. Cool, so anything else, um, feel free to message us. We'll be around. Um, yeah, good luck. Good luck.